Hi everyone, this is HJ, and welcome back to Let's Play Ogre Battle 64. Last time we took out Dardanelle, the Crossroads. Completed that pretty decently. It took a little longer than I expected, though. And today's mission involves the liberation of Alba, as you'll see to my left there. But before we do that, we have to bust out some organized screen time action games. Because uh, we do that every time now, I guess. And most people skip through the first two minutes anyway, so I decided to fast forward to this time to make it a little bit easier for you. So, here's my uh, super fast mode through the organized screen. Just had to do some quick equips and some quick uh, item carries. We give uh, Troy the Helm of the Fearless. We give Katrina an amulet. Asnabelle the Flame Flail. And we do some class changes here. Turn a sorceress, or uh witch into the sorceress and the amazon into a cleric in that unit just so I can have another cleric unit to make it a little bit easier and we're carrying some items, giving some heal packs out to some people so they can uh, not have to worry about getting to strongholds right away and that's it for that so it's probably the best organized screen you'll ever see, I promise hands down forever so scene 9, liberation of Alba in the meeting room. The Central Division has taken reinforcements to Dardanelles as a mutiny by the Southern Division. Wasn't the Southern Division General following the Central Division's orders? We have no idea why General Gosselis decided to involve those monsters, but it's certain the Central Region is worried about Lotus. If it Platinus was employing monsters, they consider this kingdom, uh, uh... I recorded this post, so I might not be able to get through all the commentary. Or all the text, I should say. Troops have been dispatched to control the chaos created by the monsters, most of them including Destin, was sent to the region, run around against the southern division. Okay. So we need to hold off against the southern and Alba here. We need to take care of it. So we're there. Aka Castle is our objective, and we need to take it. Okay. So one possible route north, and there's a sizable force. We'll lose in a battle number, so we wish for them to come to us, and we'll take them one at a time. So not really a big, big deal, but still... Not an easy mission. It's no split paths and people are split. It's one route, deal with it. Even though it's abandoned by the Central Division, the Southern Division is still a force to be reckoned with, so. It's a perfect opportunity for us. We want to meet the expectations of our sympathizers and the Revolutionary Army, so. Without further ado, let's get some Alba started. And this mission as a whole was uh, pretty fun. Actually, shorter than uh, I expected it to be. And uh, there are some parts later on where I fast forward through some of the tedious battles, but I just had to keep most of it pretty pure when it comes to uh, the gameplay. I mean, I know it takes a long time. You're looking at an hour, an hour and a half per mission, and for those of you who actually watch all the episodes, I do give you a lot of credit, but a lot of people, from what I've noticed, will have a lot of views on the first part of the mission and a lot of views on the last part of the mission, and then if there's like two or three episodes in between, we'll decide to skip those and just watch the first and the last, which... You know, I guess it's probably smart. It'll save them time, but... You know, when watching Let's Plays, I want to get the full how did we get here kind of thing, and there's some stuff along the way this time that actually matters when it comes to the end. Like, some people get promoted and things like that. So, general dispatch at the beginning, sending everybody out. And I'm checking statuses of people at the beginning so I can see who's the weakest level, so who's going to play cleanup today. And Guy is playing cleanup today, in case you were wondering, because he's the weakest... So as you can see, they've got three guys running straight down at me. And uh, here's their first battle. And sure enough, it's a pumpkin head unit. Those guys really suck. Because uh, pumpkin smash takes away half health, as you just saw there. And if that's not bad enough, it only gets better. And why does it get better? Well, paralysis, and then pumpkin shower, which takes away a bunch of random health, as you can see there. Bust out a page right away, because I have it. No point in not using the Pedra. It, it does get some work done, but you know, it takes a long time to refill. Usually you won't be able to get more than one on a single mission unless you're doing a lot of battles, so I figured use it on the pumpkin heads because they're the most deadly units, and as you can see my guys are pretty wrecked on there. And even though we do get a lot of work done and kill their leader and do a lot of damage, we still end up losing, I think. Yeah, we do. So completely wrecked on, it sucks and for the first couple of battles, you'll see uh, how exactly I get screwed each battle, and it's 
you know, unfortunate that it happens this way, but I'm just showing you guys I'm not exactly uh, perfect and my unit isn't exactly great, so Troy's turned to fight the pumpkin heads, and sure enough, they've uh, switched stuff around, and pumpkin smash still does half, and you know, we attempt to get a little work done, but pumpkin shower hurts too, and he rails on my midgets, like, look at that. I only have one left on each side, and I try to use the Pedro again, and think it gets back, and of course it's not, so we're stuck just, uh, one fighting it, and I mean, luckily they get a kill, and nobody really dies, because, uh, Pumpkin Smash only does half health, but, you know, it still sucks that, uh, we lose again, so <laughs> two battles, two losses, like, how is that fair? Well, pumpkin heads, they ruin us. Yes, I've said that before, and I'll say that again, because they will always ruin us. So, I think we take this opportunity to uh, send HJ up because uh, if you want something right, you gotta send in HJ. So it's Dick's turn to get in on the fun. And uh, I wanna say he does better, but he really doesn't. And you'll see exactly why. Because that's a three witch unit there, so paralysis. Resist there, luckily, but paralysis again. And by the time it's actually time to do something, half my guys can't attack. Which is super. So kind of sucks for that, and paralysis after they recover, so you get paralysis, you get paralysis. All in all, not a good start to this mission. I mean, we do get some uh, damage in there on their leader, but a win's a win, I guess, but that unit's a, a big pain in the butt. Like, three witches? Like, you better have a good front line, otherwise you're not getting anything done. So, continuing on, sitting on their stronghold, Dick comes in, and this unit's a big pain in the butt, too, because the fairies in the back. And they use something called Abyss, and you'll see what I'm talking about in a little bit. That uh, does some damage, and uh, it also has the opportunity to put you to sleep, so that really sucks. As you can see, we got Abyss once, and then Abyss twice on the archers on the corners, so they can't get any work done. The, I guess the point of Elvis is to throw like the worst possible enemies they can at you at the beginning, because that's what they did. And we've lost three out of four. I'm just saying. So, worst possible scenarios there. Luckily, we've got HJ and he hasn't been doing anything yet. And I believe... Yeah, we send Leia forward. And... Okay, heal seed, whatever. And they take their stronghold back, but we send an HJ, so... Very chaotic, right at the beginning. Decent stuff. I mean, their units are ripping me apart, but at least we have enough different units to supplant the fact that we're getting ripped apart. I mean, nobody's died yet, which is good. Because I'm really sick if people died right at the beginning, because then I'd be fighting at a disadvantage, but... Playing the numbers game properly, only fighting one at a time, and planning things out makes it a bit easier, so... Abyss still sucks, by the way. I think my sorcerers need to start working together to do some more team fireballs, but I don't think they're uh, capable of doing that too well. I mean, the sorcerers on my team start to pick up later on in the uh, mission, but at the beginning it seems like they uh, derp, and we draw for some reason. I can't figure that out, but it means we both lose, so... We uh, heal up at the heal leaf. So we can get right back in there. They keep picking on the weak sorceress, and I can't figure out why. Probably she's the weakest, so. Send so nice HJ back in, and everybody's healing up on the stronghold as they should be, because I got pretty railed on by the pumpkin heads. I mean, nothing you can do. You just have to deal with it, I guess. And this guy's got the best unit ever, because it's just him and, like, three groups of midgets. So, like, you want to talk about pushover? That's what this is. This guy's just gonna get wrecked on. And crit self. I wish the sorceresses would start working together, but this formation really isn't set up properly to do that, so. It's okay. I guess. But hey, at least we finally started winning, right? So. I'm pretty much uh, done commentating in the beginning here because everything else is just straightforward. So 
If you guys are, are big HJ followers, you've been paying attention to the YouTube channel, I have been releasing a lot of content recently. I'm like Discount Content Warehouse over here. I've been doing Portal videos, there's been Streets of Rage coming up. Um, I've got some Pokemon done. I even put up like a real life video, like that was pretty cool. And uh, more 402 is coming, if that's what you're here for. Uh, girlfriend's been busy, I've been busy, so we haven't had time to do that. And Troy's dead, obviously, so what we're doing is we're gonna retreat him and fill up his soldiers and bring him back out. So, you'll see how I'm doing that right here. But, yeah, a whole lot of content. I think I released like eight videos this week, which is a lot more than I'm definitely used to. I kind of got burned out when I did that. I mean, I had two days off, so I put out a bunch of content. But, yeah, there's definitely still more coming. I mean, I'm working on other things, and hopefully more Pokemon coming up soon. I mean, I don't want to completely give up on Ogre Battle. I'm still obviously doing Ogre Battle as you're watching this video, but, I mean, that's not really what's uh, keeping the people in. I mean, for those of you that are loyal HJ Ogre Battle followers, I appreciate it, and I do my best to at least give you some content every two or three weeks, but I'm trying to grow a little bit too, so that's why I started doing Pokemon, and I got some Streets to Rage out now, and you know, Black Ops once in a while, and it's Portal 2 Co-op. I'm just trying to a little bit of everything so I can bring more people in, because I'm still a, a still a really small channel. I've only got 18 subs, and I appreciate all of you, those of you watching this. It makes me happy, makes me know, hey, at least 18 people give a shit about what I do, but you know, I want that number to be higher. I want that number to be 20, 30, 50, and 100 eventually. I think if I could get 50 subs by the end of the year, I'd be pretty excited. But, you know, it's going to take a lot of work for me. It's going to take a lot of uh, quality work for me as well. So, we could really only hope that enough people figure me out and say, Hey, this year completely suck. Let's go follow him, right? So, that's what I'm going for. Um, like I said, I'm always open for suggestions and feedback, so if you're new or old to the channel and you want me to do something different, I'm always looking for suggestions. So hey, you know, skip some Ogre Battle when you're doing it. Well, I'm trying to do that now, I mean, I skipped some at the beginning, there's some repetitive battles that I skipped a little bit later. Uh, I've pretty much given up on doing commentaries live while I'm playing the game. I did that for the longest time with Ogre Battle, but... When it all comes down to it, no one wants to sit and watch a repetitive battle back and forth for an hour and a half. And I realize that now, so... This commentary is done post. And uh, I skipped some parts to make it a little bit quicker, so... If you really care about Ogre Battle on the fly, you're not stuck watching an hour and a half of me trying to mop up all the EXP, so... That's good for you guys. Uh, this pretty much wraps up part one of Alba. There's going to be three parts, I'm letting you know now, so you'll probably skip the second part if you don't care about it. There's going to be three parts, and I'll save the dialogue and cutscenes for the uh, next chapter. I start chapter two, so uh, stay tuned for more Alba coming up soon, and we'll see you next time. Let's play Battle 64.